got back from a walk with Jay. We went on a super quick little lap around the neighborhood and then now I'm about to walk on the treadmill and do some emails for the day. I have this uh, treadmill desk that is really nice. I love it but I will say that I cannot walk very quickly so it's like a slow and steady 2.83 speed. Just walk pretty slowly, have my laptop on there or else I get kind of dizzy trying to see the laptop screen. So, oh my gosh, it's hot. We need to turn the fan on. After that, I'll get a workout in. It sounds like someone's blowing away in a helicopter. I'm pretty dang proud of myself right now. Y'all, I don't know if you can even see it. It's just gonna let us. Saving your workout stats. I just walked almost four miles and my average pace was a 3.9. That's pretty dang good. I on, I was gonna do some work on my phone or on my computer. I ended up just listening to a podcast and it is the Human Lab, which you guys know I like. I started listening to that. It's like about how to breathe correctly. Actually, let's go inside. Here's my little breakfast, second breakfast, I suppose. I've got Siggy's yogurt. I did the fruity one, I think it's mixed berry or something. And then I'm doing some honey hemp granola by Farmers We Know and half a banana and then also some honey. Did a pretty light little workout and now I'm doing my sauna blanket. This is gonna be my first week of doing this consistently so I will keep you guys updated on how I feel about this but I really don't love sitting in a sauna for that long and I don't just cause I don't know, like I don't like sitting in there without being able to listen to a podcast or anything because I don't have my phone in there. So I'm gonna give this a shot and I feel like it's gonna be a good time for like meditation and just i don't know getting my mind right i just shut my eyes and relax the entire time unreal i know that this is like the same list of uh benefits that i've told you guys about when i used to go to like an infrared sauna at my old gym and i think i paid like 80 dollars extra a month just to do that and like there's some places that you pay like 100 dollars a month um but mood lifting glowing skin deep relaxation Full body detox, circulation, calorie burning, and muscle recovery. Bam. I'm gonna be very transparent with you guys for a second. I am like very bad at, I'm like not really great at balancing all the things. And I'm sure a lot of us are like this, but like if I try and focus on, okay, we're going to be a little bit more relaxed and we're gonna enjoy time with friends and go travel and do things like that. I feel like I put my health and like my 
daily routines on the back burner as simple as like putting lotion on my body or keeping things organized and staying up to date on laundry and doing like my nightly reset like just things like that you know what I mean so I'm gonna try and do a little revamp of my life I was telling you guys that we were gonna go to Miami and then decided we're just gonna stay home and a lot of it is just because I get so overwhelmed I just have not really been feeling like my most confident self. My skin has been struggling big time and a lot of that comes from my eating, my lack of doing my skincare, my lack of drinking water. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I just wanted to kind of keep you guys in the loop on how I'm feeling. Like I know that social media can be deceiving and like I'm not showing you underneath my cabinets every day and I'm not showing you the messy side of things but we're getting it back this we are entering confidence era it's and i do say era and i do say like a season of my life or like we're just gonna have a week of working on our confidence because it's not realistic to say like i'm just gonna be confident 24 7 it's so normal we're so human that some days you just don't really feel cute and you don't feel like you've got it together but there's little things that you can do like wow i actually brushed my hair because i didn't do that yesterday i didn't brush my hair yesterday and we were supposed to go see our first wedding venue yesterday and we ended up switching it to saturday because i just was not in the right headspace i just was not thinking I wasn't excited about it the way I should be and it wasn't anything to do with like I'm so excited to um, look at wedding venues and everything but like I just felt so tired and kind of just in a bad mood and we thought yeah let's reschedule this to when I feel like I I feel like I can be fully present and I would hate to like pass up a venue that I love for just being in a, a little bit wonky of a headspace uh, mindset not so positive and I am working on that for sure I've gotten a ton better I think I can definitely think therapy for that but I have been really working on thinking positively but if I'm having a bad day let myself and not be like why am I so negative life is so good and this and that because in all honesty like it's normal to have times of your life that you're just kind of in like a bad mood some days and like you can do what you can to like think positively but also don't tell yourself that your feelings aren't valid because I caught myself doing that a lot and it was actually in therapy that she was telling me she's like you always come back to saying like well I have my dream life it's like I have everything that I need and I I should be so thankful for everything and anything and she's like it's not that you're not thankful for things but you still get to have uh you still get to have a bad day and just because like you have a roof over your head and just because other people might have you know harder conditions at this state of their life or in this season of life that doesn't mean that your feelings don't matter like that is just the worst way to look at things because yeah so that's just that's just my thoughts on things and we're gonna get it together a little bit we have a couple days of just kind of sitting in this and i'm sick of sitting in it i am we're getting ourselves out of this getting out of the house that's going to be another thing that i'm going to be a little bit better about because now that we live in the house and i'm not in the apartment i don't leave nearly as much and mostly just because we have a home gym now and that's just been the last couple days but also just because i love being here and i love being at the new house uh although it is like so crucial to get out so i scheduled a couple workout classes for this week i'll do those with maybe steph's coming but definitely mackenzie and i think natalie's gonna do some too so just leaning on my good friends because when they were all here the other night on saturday when we had friends over i felt just so I felt on top of the world I really did and I think I can let myself have a bad day but at the same time life is too short to feel like I need to be in this constant perfection stress mode get everything done and grind until life stops like no we're gonna slow down we're gonna enjoy ourselves and we're also gonna slow down long enough to make ourselves feel a little bit more put together you gotta feel a little bit down in the dumps in order to appreciate the really good days, right? I agree, I think that at least. I already am feeling just so much better. It's crazy what a good night's sleep will do for you, for your mood and the way you look. Like I just feel like my eyes look brighter. The last couple of days have just been 
so actually like the last couple weeks because I had the Orlando trip and then also in Nashville and I wear my aura ring so it tells you all about the quality of your sleep and last night I had seven and a half hours of just really good sleep I think I didn't even wake up once I had a really good deep sleep and it said my recovery was super great and I'm just it's crazy when you're traveling. I can't sleep through the night. My back bothers me. I feel hot or cold or whatever it might be. So it makes all the difference in the world to have a mattress that works with you. And thank you so much, Bear, for sponsoring today's YouTube video. It worked out perfectly that this lined up right when I was talking about all things self-care. I could talk your ear off about all of the reasons that a good mattress makes all the difference in the world when it comes to your mood, your energy levels, your life. I mean, you spend so much time in your bed, so there is absolutely no surprise factor in that at all whatsoever. But I was very overwhelmed when I was looking for mattresses, but the good thing is, is that I can ask you guys so many recommendations for everything, and Bear was one of them. So I took the sleep quiz on their website, and it paired me up with the Hybrid Elite, which is what we have. We have the Queen one, which was at the apartment. It's now in the guest room, and then we now have the King one and it is the comfiest bed in the world anytime we have someone stay over in our guest room they say something about it they're like man I don't think I've slept that well in so long and there's no coincidence that I sleep like crap when I'm out of town and then when I get home I'm like oh man I feel like I've got my personality back but since they give a 120 night sleep trial I was like okay this is worth a shot it comes right to your door so easy to unbox I was like a little bit worried about that back when we first got the queen one and we unboxed that and then we got the king one in and it was honestly just as easy it's a little bit crazy how easy it is to unbox it of course do your own research on your mattress and figure out what works best for you but I over and over again will praise bare mattress because they are non-toxic they don't have fiberglass in them which I learned throughout the process of researching that a lot of companies do put fiberglass in their mattresses so I'm gonna make sure to link this in my description box below and thank you so much Bear, for sponsoring today's YouTube video how stinking cute is this I feel adorable so I have my my Lululemon aligned dress on and then this clear belt bag that I have my wallet some lip gloss and my keys in we're gonna go run some errands and get a move on with today but I'm just feeling really good right now I'm feeling good guys we have an update for you we are about to go to a coffee shop here in a couple minutes but we just left the bank and we're starting the process of our pool being done so I think it's gonna take, well it does take a couple months of course, but now the process has started. Like this is the paperwork and the deposit and all of that and it's go time. We designed, I don't think we even really told the vlog back when we did like the whole design center and everything. But we went to the design center, chose all of like the tile, all of the colors of everything, what color we wanted the pool to be, salt water. What are some other things that we chose? Oh, like there's like gonna be a little fountain thing. It's gonna be exciting. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. But now we started the process. Woo! It's gonna be so cool looking out from our bedroom and then also from the office and the living room and having the pool there. We have quite literally been grilling for every single meal we can already but here's some chicken prepped for the next couple days and we'll go through it for sure we sure will what kind of wacko gets sick during the middle of summer the middle of summer i don't know if i would necessarily i definitely am stuffy last night we got some mouth tape because we like I think that I'm a mouth breather to some extent and like I've been in my Huberman lab podcast era which you guys know that I have been but we got some mouth tape and Jay was like I slept so so well I'm like I couldn't breathe I had to take it off in the middle of the night because my nose is so stuffy and it like happened last night I started getting stuffy but I got these drift sleep ones and Jay's been saying I did it two nights ago and I did sleep really, really well. But I know that Jay, he is like really bad about mouth breathing because sometimes he'll even snore a little bit. And so we're giving that a go around. I just am so annoyed that I have a stuffy nose. It's not the end of the world. I'm realizing that I need to listen to my body a little bit more. Jay's like, so does this mean that you're gonna relax some and that you're going to listen to your body? Like, really right now? What the heck? I don't want to relax. <laughs> but 
I do need to get a pedicure today. I said that I was going to yesterday. I ended up just like storming really bad yesterday and I didn't end up doing that. So we'll do that today. I actually know that we have a call at 11 o'clock with our wedding planner or she's who we think we're gonna use. This is our first time talking to her. So we're gonna see everything she offers and price of everything and just kind of like go over what our vision is for the wedding and show a Pinterest board. Jay and I are pretty much on the same track with everything. We like sat down at lunch the other day and we were like, okay, we're gonna talk all things wedding. And then yesterday we went on a walk in the morning and we're like, okay, let's plan a little bit. So I think that we have like dedicated, cause it's so easy to say like, wow, this is overwhelming. I don't even know where to begin with wedding stuff. But I think knowing that we're on like the same page with like the amount of people that we want at our wedding and like also just our vibe of the wedding and if we want it to be in florida or if we want it to be more of a destination we've been going through all of our options so today we have that meeting and then i think that is really all that i have like set in stone for today so i do have some time today to just kind of lay low get some emails done because i know i have a ridiculous amount of computer work i need to do today and i think i'll be Oh wow, did I just, wow, a bug literally just about flew into my eye. What the heck, why is that in here? Oh, I hate bugs so much. But um, yeah, I think that's about it that we have really going on today. I'm just going to lay low and I don't really feel like sick other than I've just felt low energy the last couple days and then my nose is super stuffy. Just took some Kickstart, which is turmeric, has turmeric in it and that is from one up but i feel like i'll feel fine in just a couple days i just need to listen to my body and not overdo it i might even take today off from working out uh because when i'm stuffy like i might do the little sauna blanket and try and take a hot shower just to get rid of this congestion maybe do a little bit of gua sha i'm about to do my ice roller and then i'll do my skincare but good morning guys it is tuesday morning right now and we'll get this day going Now there's a better way to get live TV. Back to another vlog. I'm currently rolling up, getting ready to go get this push day running. Jay's first pedicure. He's been begging me. Put your toes away. <laughs> Check him out before and after. <laughs> Put your toes away. Just got back from getting, Jay got his first pedicure and then I got just natural nails. I had one really broken nail and it was bothering the heck out of me. It like hurt every time I touched it. So got that fixed. I think I'm actually gonna end off this vlog. I, as you can tell, I'm very stuffy and just not feeling super hot right now. So I'm gonna lay low for the rest of the day and probably even cancel. I was gonna do workout classes with my friends tomorrow. I think I'm gonna cancel those and just lay low for probably the next day too. Let's just hope that we're not sick at all whatsoever. But see you guys in my next vlog. I love y'all, I adore y'all, and thanks so much for watching.